What's up everybody, Derek here, and I made it down to the river for my first kayaking trip ever. Just got this kayak, this Pelican Catch 120, and I wanna go see if maybe I could catch some crappie or maybe some bluegill or something for my first trip. Just kinda of take it easy. Um, this water looks a little dirty. I don't know if we'll be able to get out here and maybe catch some, but I wanna go upriver and see how well this kayak does just paddling along and uh, just kind of throwing around. It's kind of windy, so I chose this spot to kind of try to get out of the wind. But the wind's dying down a little bit. It had like gusts of like 20 or 30 miles an hour earlier. So that's downstream, that's upstream. We're gonna go upstream and see if we can't find some crappie or bluegill or something. So let's get this kayak unloaded. All right, here we go, the maiden voyage. Got my rod ready, I'm gonna leave it right there. Got that strapped down. Got my pliers and all that here. I'm just gonna clip those in right there. Uh, got my bag, I'm gonna leave there. We got our cheap $30 Ozark Trail paddle, so make sure the plug is in here. I don't think there's anything else we need to really worry about. So let's get out here on the water. Ooh. Let's see here. Oh yeah, that's nice. Well, I'm actually, this thing actually sits up decently high. Wow, quite surprising. All right. Whoa. Kind of tippy a little bit. So used to John boats and other stuff that this is a little bit unstable. Oh great, jet skis, right on time. Oh man. Just got in this thing, first feel of it and already got wakes I gotta put up with. This is a ski resort lake so you gotta put up with that kind of stuff. Not even a wave. Come on, except for this one. Oh yeah, that wasn't bad. Maybe these fish will be kind of staged under these docks. I don't know. There's a discharge up around that corner way up there, so we might have to go back up in there and see if we can get some fish, but I don't really know yet. Here's what I got. I got my panfish assassins here, kind of resemble a minnow. I got two of them. I got one down low. I think that's like a one eighth jig head down there. And then I've got another one, eighth ounce, eighth ounce jig head down low and another one up above it. So with a bobber at about three, three and a half, four foot, somewhere around there. So let's see if these fish might be hungry. I don't know how deep it is down through here. I can't, that was a fish right there, I think. Well, I made it to a power generation station. Usually there's water coming down from right up there, but the dam upstream of here actually broke. So it's not really holding as much water as it used to to get the levels up to where this can flow and generate electricity. So I hope there's some fish in this little backwater over here out of the wind. There's a lot of stumps, a lot of trees. This is right off the river. The main river channel is right there. So. Man, it would be nice to get some fish back in here. I could catch anything. I've caught catfish and bluegill back in here. So I tied my bobber back on because I'm not going to even try vertically jigging. I thought that might be a good idea, but it doesn't seem like it. So let's just kind of work around this area. See if we might be able to make those panfish assassins look like minnows. All right, I switched it up. I've got a yellow, got a yellow ribbon tail on the bottom and then I got an orange up top above it. So maybe it'll show up a little bit better in the water and maybe these fish will actually catch on to it. I wanted to try to fish easy today with a bobber like this. So hopefully I can get into some fish and I just seen one pop right back in there. So, oh, big old fish blew up over there. Oh, there's a fish chasing. There's a fish chasing over there. 
I might have to tie on a different rig. All right, I tied on a little bit deeper of a crankbait than when I'm used to running, but it's a fire tiger. So it runs a little, this one runs a little bit deeper. So with this hole being a little bit deeper out here, I'm gonna see if maybe I can't get some bass to maybe hit or maybe some crappie or bluegill. I'm not sure what's back in here, but it's a good looking little backwater. Is that a fish? Is that a fish? Did I finally catch something? Oh, it feels like a good one too. Oh yeah, it's a bass. Soon as I changed up. There's a little bit of water it's running in over there in those roots of that tree. Come here, buddy. Come here. Decent bass. Oh, that's a pretty bass. Oh man, that's a good looking one. Yeah. yeah. Check that out. Oh man. Pretty bass. That is the first bass I've caught in this thing. Man, that thing. It didn't really just hammer it. It was just kind of there. Oh, and he's barely hooked. That was awesome. That's a good looking bass. Just a pretty one. Thank you, bud. A lot of guys that would be fishing this backwater wouldn't be fishing with just a, such a small crankbait. I know that. I never would have thought this for bass fishing or anything like that, downsizing so much, but Man, lately I have had so much luck downsizing my lures and catching decent sized bass. I mean, that's not a monster, the one that I just caught, but I've been catching some good fish lately on smaller lures. There's a fish right there. <laughs> yes, you're slow cranking back here in this backwater. Oh yeah. Nice. Come here, bud. You smacked it. All right, thanks bud. <laughs> yeah, starting to figure them out a little bit. Just slow cranking backwater off the main river channel. There's a fish right there. Hit it right there at the edge of those lily pads. Right in front of me. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Swing him in here. Oh, got a little pattern going now. <laughs> Just slow rolling a crankbait. That's three fish. Not a big one, but man, it's nice to start catching them. Thanks, buddy. Oh, there's a fish right there. It's hitting right across. We got to get back in there. Oh, there's a fish right there. Oh, and he hit it. <laughs> oh, God. That was awesome, and he choked it. Oh my gosh. That was a topwater bite right there with a crankbait. <laughs> that was awesome. This time of the year and getting topwater bites. 
Oh man, that was awesome. Thank you, buddy. And I'm just being as quiet as I can possibly be back here. Just being slow with all my presentation. Everything that I'm doing is just slow. And even right there, I let that crankbait come to the surface and I just popped it and that sucker came up and hit it. I didn't even know there was a fish after it. Wow, what a good day on the water. For being as windy as it was and being able to get out of the wind, it, it turned into a nice day. It was warm in those little pockets, even though I noticed that a little bit of the draft, not even just one mile an hour, will make that thing draft and just kind of drift along with the wind. So there's not a whole lot I can do unless I have a power pole micro or um, some kind of anchor system set up to where I'll just sit in one spot. But for being the first time to go out and just figure out how it actually paddles and everything, I couldn't, I have no complaints about this thing. It's a little bit more wobbly than I thought it was going to be. Um, but still in all, I was able to stand up and fish and kind of, you know, maneuver myself so I could get a good camera shot and still show you guys what I'm fishing and everything. Cause that's one of the hard parts that I was worried about was if I'm sitting down, I'm only going to have that front field of view. So I had to kind of stand up to get something going, but got my backpack with all the stuff that I've got on the front, got my camera gear in the back. That's really all I needed for a trip like this. Um, I've got a lot of planned lot planned for this thing i've got lots of things that i'm going to be putting on this and trying to make it better just as i go along but man talk about changing up from the jigs and going to the that little bitty like crappie style crankbait where it gets down a little bit further into the water column i mean that was the right decision to make because i started picking up some bass instead of just getting skunked so definitely don't stick to one lure all day or else you'll end up like i was you got to switch up and kind of go with the conditions that are given to you but let me know what you guys think about stuff like this and if you guys own one of these kayaks let me know what your experience is with this pelican catch 120 but subscribe if you haven't already like this video if you liked it and i'll see you guys in the next one <laughs>